He dyed that hair black. <laughs> And got that goatee going on, getting this Pablo Escobar on right now. Dirty Sanchez. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, dirty, <laughs> the dirty ass Sanchez. <laughs>and she's a great artist you can see the shirt that she calls the toasting and hosting right there which features all of the current crew go to her instagram page type in deja doodles and that is d-a-s-i-a leonard or you can type in deja doodles and you'll see all of her great artwork right there dtmerch.com and find all of the great merchandise that we have over there including more shirts, my favorite being the black tee with the white logo, jerseys, backpack, hats, phone covers. As I say, you can join the shows when you become a subscriber and do so by, I don't know, credit card or anything else, but I would use my Amazon account, plain Amazon account, and combine it with our Amazon pay button. Username, password, put it in there. Press send. Ooh, 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 ooh. Danielle, what's happening? What is happening to all me? All that toasty goodness that jizzling what? all over your body. <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> Toasty goodness. Oh, I love you. Oh. What we got, brother? What we got? Brother, I did. Did you get your shot yet? Uh oh. Your affluenza shot is going around right now. Oh, uh, man. I'm, please, brother, I'm immune to that shit. And so I, are you. <laughs> well, you say, I'm so broke. I, I'm immune to that. Let me tell you something. If there's any disease that you want, it's mm -hmm. that affluenza, man. It's the only disease that I know of is that will keep mm. you from going to jail. <laughs> I need a heavy case of that. Oh, yeah. The only way, the only disease that will let you get away with murder. And some mm. of y'all, when y'all hear affluenza, y'all think about one person. Mm. And like the, I'm sure a lot of people caught this case of this rare disease, but one name comes to mind. And it's your old boy, Ethan Couch. Mm. Ethan Couch almost is like a super villain at this point. And he's just been let out of Arkham Asylum. <laughs> <laughs> to kill again. To kill again, man. Batman don't know what to do. <laughs> he's he like Daniel the, on the case. He like the joke is one thing, but but this motherfucker right here, that's a whole other situation. And, and if you don't know Ethan Couch, Danielle, you ever heard of Ethan Couch? Yes, unfortunately. Oh yeah, and, and it's been two years mm. since this boy went to jail and the, circum the circumstances behind that are even more infuriating. But it's the kid that was driving way over the limit. He was driving drunk way over the limit, killed four people, including a friend of his. Went to court and the judge said, oh, this poor kid right here, he's only 16. And he has a condition called the affluenza. And what that <laughs> means is that Oh, that just translates into poor little rich boy. He is so rich that he, listen, people, he did not know what he was doing. We cannot throw this kid in jail. Just give him some, uh, give him some uh, uh, parole. Uh, not parole. Give him, uh, what do you call that? Uh, probation. Probation. Give him some probation and let him sit back and learn the error of his ways. Well, he even messed that up. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. Oh, he went, surprise, surprise. <laughs> Yeah, he was on probation, got pretty much a slap on the wrist and messed that up and went to jail over something else that we'll talk about in a little bit. But he slap in the face. Sla yeah, the well, wrist. everybody else got that slap in the face while he was getting on the wrist. And he is out of jail now and at large. Five years ago, Couch killed four people while driving under the influence. His attorneys argued that Couch's wealthy upbringing made it impossible for him to understand the consequences of his actions. Unbelievable. He was sentenced to 10 years probation. People right now, they think that he went to jail for two years. And they, people right now are saying, just two years? Two years for killing four people while driving drunk? And no, let me come in and, and, and correct you. He did not get two years for that. They gave him probation for that. Mm -hmm. He got two years for violating his probation and fleeing to Mexico. Woo -wee. <laughs> where, where my man, when he went there, <laughs> he, he actually tried to look like a Mexican. <laughs> he dyed that hair black and got that goatee going on, getting his Pablo Escobar on right now. Dirty Sanchez. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, dirty, <laughs> the dirty ass Sanchez. He need to go to jail just for trying to look like a Mexican. Man, That's a sorry ass world. look. 
I tell you, boy, that they literally said he is too rich and white to the point where he didn't know the consequences of his actions. That's, that's crazy. not that's not we're not making it up like he's they said that he's he's too white and rich to know the consequences of his well, actions. Well, what? you know what? White does play something in there. But really what they mean is he is just too rich. They got a they 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 paid out the ass for a slick lawyer who was able to make this argument, but I don't think oh. that that was the bottom of it right there. It's this, a scary world. I, it's a scary and world. And you know what? I got to tell you, I, I want to get everybody's opinion here, but I have mixed feelings about this. Now, before when I heard this, that he was, uh, that he was getting out of jail, I was furious, man. I was sitting at home, and I was, I mean, this is, this is why sometimes I need to stay off the Internet because I was mm -hmm. just, I was so stressed out. I was almost shaking when I saw this because these kind of like like anybody else, I was pissed about this, and you know I was so mad that I said, "Man, you know what? I would not blame the relatives of the victims of this kid here if they mm. hired the best hitman that they could find <laughs> and killed him. not only this boy but his mom and his daddy." Mm. Man, but to be honest, at the end of the day, fuck this kid. But I blame. The, the system, Who, mm -hmm. who's, re who's responsible for this? Who would say the guy drank and drove and killed four people and he's walking a free man? The kid should be in jail for life. Goddamn right this kid should go to jail for a longer period of time. Oh. Life, I would oh. not say life uh, because this kid is 16. And again, I'm gonna use a word a lot of people are not gonna like and I've actually <laughs> blamed you for using this word, but this kid is not, not to let him off the hook right now. I think this kid should have done 10 years. Mm -hmm. 10 years and maybe and, and Oz maybe uh you know did like seven or eight for i don't know good time or whatever but he uh, took good behavior <laughs> whatever but but you know no i know i know but he was 16. and the reason why i say that is because this kid as much as i i am reluctantly saying this this kid really is a victim of horrible parenting this yeah. boy's parents, man, this, oh, this kid, you know, he is 16 and he is the product right. of, uh, he's, you know, he is the ultimate example of bad parenting. How do you know anything about his, his upbringing? And his because parents? it was all over the news. His, mm -hmm. his, his parents, oh, parents are, are criminal. criminals, oh, man. Wow. His parents, not only they're criminals, but this family, this fucking family has a history of getting away with crime. I'm looking mm -hmm. at this right here on Inside Edition. And Fred Couch is his dad's name right here and his mother's name, Tanya Couch. Now, I'm going to read this to you, what, what we have here. And this is from, I believe, 20, 20, 2013. I thought it was 2015. So we're going back. We're going back five years. And his father's 53 now, but it's, you know, they say here, Ethan's father, 48-year-old business executive, Fred Couch, has an arrest record going back to 1988 with two charges of theft, evading arrest, and assault, plus 18 traffic violations. The two theft charges and evading arrest were dropped after he paid eleven $1, hundred dollars eleven $1, hundred dollars one thousand one hundred dollars in restitution the assault charge which stemmed from a domestic dispute was dismissed his mother tanya was charged with reckless driving in 2003 she allegedly forced another motorist off the road when she and, and, and she was fined five hundred dollars and served six months probation and the, the, so we game. so we know who taught this boy how to drive. <laughs> <laughs> and probably how to duck and weave through the law. Dad, recently, this is a couple of years ago, uh he he got in trouble for impersonating an officer. Oh wow. And he only got served community service where he has to go and shovel horse shit at the police station. Fred mm. old Fred Couch. Right I would there. be very interested in looking up their lawyers. I tell you Who what, man. I, are, I mean, I, I, these are shitty people, but I bet they got a hell of a record for a law. Good lawyers. <laughs> for, for a lawyer. Mm. Yeah, man. Whoever they give me the firm that got that. <laughs> it's probably that Lisa Bloom lady. What's her name? The the one that always represents the high profile bullshit. I don't know. I don't know who this is. Uh, <laughs> the firm of slick and ass. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry Carroll Juice. All I know is that this is, uh, it. Just seems that. You know, whoever's representing these guys either got they greasing these people's palms or something because this is just ridiculous how they're getting away with, you know, with straight up murder and all these different arrests for different things. It's ridiculous, man. I, I'm I don't know how they're getting these people off. That sounds yeah. crazy. Yeah. And I'll tell you something, man. Half of it is that somebody. Somebody somewhere is getting paid. 
Yeah, the reason why I say that is because, listen, being one person, I don't care. You could be the most staunch conservative person out there. Mm-hmm. You could be the most devout viewer of Fox News, and even you would have to say, yeah, if my <laughs> man here was poor, a person of color, or both, they'd hang his ass. Oh, he'd be dead. He'd be gone. He'd be yeah. gone. And not maybe he wouldn't be dead, but if it was a kid like that, that kid would be doing easy 10 years. And the reason why I say that is because you have to look no further than the judge who actually passed the sentence. Good old oh, Judge Jean Boyd right there. And I'm putting up a picture of her. Don't even trust. If you can't trust her Tinder picture, then you can't trust this judge. That's an old <laughs> Photoshop Tinder picture that she got right there. This is what she looked like today. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> two people in the exact same place doing the exact same crime at the exact same time can have two completely, totally different sentences. And that's what she did. It's so fucked up. I, I, I talk about this woman so bad. When I say bitch, I mean it. In the strongest sense. <laughs> Can this, I see the before pig? Oh, 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 yeah. Here, let me look. Let, let me help you out. After, this is uh, this is uh, after the sun, before the sun. <laughs> this, <laughs> so is this, what, is this is that fresh carved apple head right there. <laughs> this is before. Let me see the laughter. <laughs> and it's done. All right. That's yeah. very common, though, for people in the legal industry. To, their photos are always 30 years old. I mean, it's com- night and day. Now, the thing is, we got this story here where this, wo- this woman, she sentenced somebody who was in a similar situation, somebody who was in a DWI crash who was a teenager, and she gave that person 20 years. Damn. And let me see here. It says... Let me see if I got this right. It says here, on the night of February 13th, 2004, Eric Bradley Miller coaxed $10 out of his grandfather saying he was going to rent a movie. Miller, who was then 16, much like somebody we know in this story, they say that instead he bought vodka, got drunk, and stole a pickup and at a convenience store. With the lights turned off, he sped away. Soon after, near River Oaks, Miller crashed into a 19-year-old husband and father, Philip Philip Andrus killing him. Miller, whose blood alcohol level was 0.11, the presumption of guilt starts at uh, 0.08, was arrested on charges of murder and failure to stop and render aid. Because Miller was a juvenile, his case went before State District Judge Gene Boyd. Mm. Right there. And old leather face herself. Mm-hmm. Old apple heads. <laughs> What'd you say? Leather face? <laughs> old leather face <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yeah, just, just give her a chainsaw, man. <laughs> and they say here that prosecutors with Tarrant County District Attorney's Office asked Boyd to certify Miller as an adult. She declined. He was granted a jury trial and jurors found him guilty. Boyd sentenced Miller, a troubled teen whose mother was a drug addict and who was being raised by his grandfather to 20 years behind bars. Mm. Now we go up to Couch, who had a blood alcohol level of 0.24, also Mm. went before Boyd. He admitted responsibility, the adult equivalent of pleading guilty to four counts of intoxication, manslaughter, and two counts of intoxication, assault, causing serious bodily injury. And Boyd sent his couch, described in testimony as a spoiled teen from a dysfunctional but wealthy family, to 10 years probation and intensive therapy. I, you know, I, I don't yeah. know, man. I, I, that's, that, I don't know. How could you not go back and look at this case, seeing that both things are so similar to what happened? Meanwhile, you know, that guy Couch was a little bit more, you know, extensive than the other guy was. How could you not look at those two cases and somebody say, listen, you can't do this? Maybe I'm missing something. I really am. Like I said, I'm sorry I for being so ugly if I was. I'm very angry about this thing, though. But, you know, I'm, I'm with you, man. Yeah, I don't know. It seems like it's just, I, I, I feel like, as much as uh, as much as I'm as I'm angry at this kid, you know, I'm I'm in I'm in lynch mob mode at this kid. But this kid, mm. he was 16 when he did this. I don't think that I'm blaming him so much. I mean, of course, I'm blaming him, holding him accountable yeah. for the crime. Mm-hmm. But it's the system, man. It's not consistent. Yep. You know, this it's- is a system that allows some people to get away with lighter sentences based on how much money you got, and let's not admit how much uh, influence you got because of I don't know, maybe privilege and. Skin color. Let's you know. Let's let's admit yeah. that too. Of course. And there's a. I'm just mad because there's a precedence that was already set with this affluenza kid, 
and you have somebody doing the exact same mm-hmm. thing and you give him a different sentence, how could you not look back in your books and say, hey, wait a minute, this is not right. That's Absol- crazy. I don't even know how they made up that word, affluenza. That is really pissing me off. That's the biggest thing that's pissing me off the most. You're telling me that you made up a word called affluenza, which is mm. describing somebody who's too rich <laughs> and too privileged <laughs> to understand the actions of their fucking... Oh, no. That really makes me mad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you I'll... gotta... You, we gotta be better. Come on. I know. This, this, the humanity is going down the shit, man. The moment I think things are getting good, I see things like this. And maybe they are getting better, but I just get blinded with rage when I see this. And you have... Daniel, you, I had never. Who read made up more. that word? Who coined the phrase? And, Fuck them. And you know what? <laughs> that needs to stop because let's just call affluence for what it is. White privilege. Rich, spoiled, brat, asshole kid. Who deserves whatever <laughs> they have coming to them.